Hi, I'm Mal, and welcome to another episode of Mini Model Makes. In today's episode, it's going to be an unboxing video, and I have picked up the new Warhammer 40,000 Beast Snagger Orcs box set. So a big thanks to Evie and Tom at Lazy Dragon Games, my local hobby store from which I got this box set, which is absolutely amazing. So what I will do is we'll crack on, I'll open up this box and I'll go through the contents with you. Okay, I'll get the overhead cam set up and we'll be with you again shortly. So here's the Beast Snagger Orcs army set for Warhammer 40,000 by Games Workshop. Uh, really looking forward to opening this up because it's got the new Orc Codex in it and having a look at some of these wonderful models. Hopefully the wonderful, I've not really seen them close up yet. So I'm going to open this box. Really nice artwork of the giant great white squig riding character on there. And here is the box set. You'll have to forgive me, my camera's zoomed out as far as possible. See we have cards here in the corner. My personal favourite, the bases for all the models. Quite a few bases there, the squig riders as well. There are one, two, three, four, three and a half. Well, there's five frames, but one's a character. One looks like the knob for the riders. We've got instructions. We've got some of the little artwork dividers they put in there, which are quite nice. Oh, I've got, I've got two. I've got two of those. And then the wonderful codex. I'm going to take this box off quickly. And well, we've already done the bases, so despite the fact I get all excited about them, we won't be doing those again. You've seen those. So, firstly, from the box set, we have the cards. I'll zoom in a little bit for this one. Nice little cardboard deck protector to keep them in. Let's put that up there. So we've got all the different psychic powers to begin with Smite, Edbanger, Warpath, Dajump, Fists of Gork, The Crunch. Jabbing Fingers, Roar of Mork, and then we're moving on to the Beast Herd discipline here. Frazzle, Biting Jaws, Spirit of Gork, Beast Scent, Squiggly Curse, Unbridled Carnage. Oh, we're, sorry, now we're on to the Battle Tactic Stratagems. So We've got Unbridled Carnage, which is Goffs, the Bad Moon showing off, Kareen, Get Stuck In Lads. Ramming speed, gun crazy show offs, hit em harder, tough as squig hide, breaking heads, drive by dacker, wreckers, dead sneaky with blood axe, get dilute, tide of muscle. These are all the strategic ploys, unstoppable momentum, grot shields, teleporter, lumbering strides, burn em all, monster hunters. Mystic Chanting, Orcs is never beaten, The Bigger Day is, Extra Gubbins, these are requisition stratagems, Big Boss, and then we've got War Gear, Cutting Flames, More Dacker, Cloud of Smoke, Tank Buster Bomb, Snagger Grapple, Ground Shaker Shells, Force Field Booster, and then we've got more core stratagems, Command Reroll, Cut Them Down, Desperate Breakout, Emergency Disembarkation, Fire Overwatch, Counter Offensive and Insane Bravery. That's all the cards. I'm sure if you're very clever you can freeze the video at a set point and read a bit more about those as I've shuffled through them. The next thing We've got, zoom back out, the instructions for the Beast Snagger Orcs army set. 
So you've got Zodgrod. You can build variants, it says here as well. So you must be a little bit of uh, different things you can do in here, give things different guns and weapons. That's all the boys, you get 20 boys. And then I think it's three squig riders and the knob. Because that's the knob. And there's the rad riders themselves. And you get a little bomb squig, which is really cool, I think. I'll go on to the frames now. I'll try and zoom in a bit better. So this is Zodgrod himself, he's got a bit of scenery for his base and then you've got his really hairy and beardy head there, his body and his um, wonderful grabber claw and some other bits and pieces to go on his body and his weapon. I don't know why he's in this box set, to be fair, from the point of view of, I thought, and I might be mistaken with this, I've not read his rules yet, but he kind of loves grots and can make super grots and things, so it's fine him being in this box set, but there's no grots with him, seems strange, maybe they would have been better off with the special character with a big white squig in this box set instead. Just a thought, people might love Zodgrod in here instead, in which case, come on in the comment section and tell me to shut up or say to me, you know what Mal, that's not a bad point. The next frames we've got, now there's two frames here, they are both the same and it's the 20 boys. I've been really intrigued by these new orcs to see because a lot of people on Facebook and things are all oh, the monopos and uh, it's the end of the world and things like that because we have been lucky in the past with having multi-part kits and the orc army has been renowned for having multi-part kits and kits you can use to to you know mash things up and do conversions and things that the orc army has always been one that's been great for conversion orc players love the conversions the old fantasy models you could mix some of the arms and the choppers and the bodies and the heads in with these orcs to to really make your army look different so i understand the the worry that everyone's going to have 20 orc boys all looking the same so we will go through these sprues so yes the the bodies are very monopose if you get me you, you're gonna glue the leg on a certain way there's there's no yes you can cut arms off and you can do this and that and the other before you go down that avenue with me but uh, if I want to put an orc army together pretty much as quickly as possible and want a lot of variation, I'm not going to have time to start cutting arms off and messing around with green stuff and things like that. People do that in the hobby. They don't actually know how intimidating it can be for new ho hobbyists to cut an arm off a beloved orc, which costs quite a lot of money at the moment, and to try something else or you know to mess about with green stuff. It's, it is not an easy thing, and I think people forget that sometimes. But... There's a little bit of variation, as we've said, from the instructions. Wonderful choppers and, you know, really nice, meaty looking cleavers there, which are absolutely superb. The pistols look good, the, the slugaz look cool as well. But yeah, they're predominantly monopose, and it looks like they've only got sort of one head because there's there's two bodies on here there's two oh no there's three it's it there's different heads by the looks of it 
as the three bodies. There might be three bodies, in which case there's three heads, which is a shame. But the fact that there's two of these frames means there's going to be some repetition. You, some of your orcs are going to look similar, and there's not much you can do about that unless you go down that heavy converting route. We've got some of the different weapons. They look like more like the special weapons here, which look pretty cool. You've got little uh, boss poles, armor, and rounds and things you can pop onto your models. I do love the feral look and nature to some of these and the armor plates and things they they do have a really good aesthetic which i love is it a 40k aesthetic i'm not sure it, more more fantasy but it it does look really cool these are certain things that could be used for snake bites and this is the way Games Workshop have gone with the Orcs, the, the forever creating more special units now for armies. Another weird looking kind of chopper there. Moving on to this frame, you've got more armour plates and sluggers. You've got a power claw looking thing there. Power claws... They look weedy now. I, I prefer the old ones with, you know, great big meaty claw and an exhaust hanging off it. And they look really orky and that they, you know, snip you in half. I'm, uh, I'm not too sure of these now. But once again, really nice, de beautifully detailed orc models to work on. Nice big beefy chopper, that's what we like to see. And then same again on this frame, more beefy choppers, armour plates, bodies covered in furs and scaly hides and things, more rounds and shoulder plates there and orc heads, wonderful. Really, really nice frame and you get two of those in the box set. Next we have, sorry, is it? I always zoom out instead of zooming in, or zoom in instead of zooming out. Here are the Squig Riders. I like this new take on what would have been uh, Cybors back in the day, if anyone remembers those. Amazing to have Orcs on essentially balls with tank tracks and wheels on them instead of legs and things. So we've got Squigs here doing that instead. Really cool, big, chunky heads. I'll zoom in on. Ah, I did it the right way. So you've got these really brutal, almost sort of great white shark looking heads to them. Uh, if they take a bite out of you, you're going to know about it and wonderful metal sort of jaws and attachments there's wheels uh, you've got your armor plating for the head of the model which is just amazing and more wheels and exhaust stuck to them they've got spears for hunting things i'm trying to find the bomb squig and i think that's its body there with the rider so that's your little bomb squig absolutely amazing little model squigs and grots add so much character to an orc army i think they're pretty crucial um, and one of the cool and fun things you can do with them so we've got some nice armor plating on them and some uh, scenery for the base Another monstrously large head. The bodies again, so they're, they're quite, you know, chunky bodies, these. They're, they're quite biggish, beefy models, which is what you want. The riders. The leaner than, than the old orc models. 
that they don't have the appallingly bad backs that the old orcs seem to have. Jury's out. They they just don't look as beefy as orcs should should be. I think, but certainly from a quality point of view, the the sculpting and the detail is is better on them. More squig goodness, squig riding goodness there with another big beefy head. Can't wait to paint these because wonderful expression and character and picking out the different textures and the lips and things. And we've got a little grot rider there at the base. So really nice model, ca certainly characterful. I'll look forward to painting those when I've got time. And then finally now we have the knob so <clears throat> if I just show you two bodies side by side there roughly for the squigs squigs a lot bigger monstrously huge I can zoom in again monstrously huge really detailed beautiful face to the squig which will be an absolute joy to paint that's his gun you've got his his yeah pistol there you've got humongous choppers there's one there there's one there so you can maybe do some bits and pieces with uh, the other you can you, you know put one on your knob model for your uh, normal boys play around with her so there's there's a bit of scope for conversion work which is lovely but overall I'm sure you agree it's a really nice model I, I, I do love this frame couple of different heads on it as well you've got a screamy sort of orc head there and then you've got a more sterner silent head with an earring in there but once again not much scope on the model to vary the body the the legs are sort of separate but I think it's very much you're gluing him how you're gluing him not necessarily a bad thing I'm sure you're not going to have many of these models in your army anyway so it's going to look amazing and that is all the frames lovely metal work on the legs here and pistons and things which is great so yeah you've got your little artwork dividers I showed you before which have got the orcs on sadly it's the same both sides it's a shame but I can put one of those up on the wall of the man cave which is great and finally here we have our orc codex be snagger boy on there live off the land go to find war kill what comes close the old ways is best so these snaggers traditionalist it's nice to see their cover Let's open it up so orcs same again I'll run through all the pages I'm sure the cleverest among you can just pause it to see or read whatever you want You've got an introduction to them. Beautiful artwork, which that's the, the cardboard divider inside the box. And you've got all this uh, background to orcs and the power of the war mork, who's on this side, and gork, who's on this side. So you've got a little bit about the orc gods. The old ways. Orky no Watts, love, love the artwork and, and all the ramshackle vehicles. Going through all the tribes, more artwork. <gasps> Blood Angels. Oh. As 
a Blood Angel fan, I like seeing that. That is pretty cool. And Gazgul Thraka, or Gary himself, and a little bit about Makari, his favourite runt. You've got the Goths, Boss Sagstruck. It's the Vulture, Vulture Squadron guy, isn't he? Evil Sons, Bad Moons. So you've got you've got the clans. It's telling you a little bit about the clans and some examples. You've got Snickrot and his commandos. The Death Skulls. Mad Dog Grotsnick, who's one scalpel short of a med pack. Snake Bites. Moz Rog Scrag Bad. The monster eater so he's the guy with the absolutely humongous squig who I think should have been in this box set instead you've got Zod Grod Freebooters and Badrook Freebooters are cool as well then you've got Orcs themselves they all look the traditional old school Orc models they're nothing different the sharp eyed among you might pick something out Looters, so, so quite a few pages of artwork. That absolutely humongous beast snagger artillery thing, which is massive. The uh, the guy on the big squig, which is mass. Look at the size of that compared to the riders. <laughs> it's, it's disgustingly huge. Then you've got a beast boss who looks huge himself, and a new model, and the pain boss. With a grot orderly. Not sure on that new pain boss model to be fair. I like the squig and the attachments, but I think his power claw is a bit weedy. Some more wonderful, wonderful art uh, pictures of, of all the models in the orc range. That looks a, a different massively big squiggly beast model as well with a guy with a huge cleaver on it so keep an eye out for that orc people then you've got the rules for them all data sheets match play rules combat patrol detachment abilities you've got the clans so we've got Goths, Bad Moons and Evil Suns. Evil Suns still go faster, which is cool. We've got Snake Bites, Death Skulls, Blood Axes, Freebooters, Specialist Mobs, Custom Jobs, Met Custom Jobs, and the Stratagems, which I had the cards out before, the Warlord Traits. Power of the War Discipline, Beast Herd Discipline, Relics, Chapter Approved Rules, Crusade Rules, Agendas, Requisitions, Battle Traits, Scrap, Crusade Relics, A Crusade Army, there's, there's a wealth of things and rules in this codex, the data sheets and then here we have you've got Gazgul and Makari there why they're separate I don't know you should always have your Makari with your Gazgul so they might, should just be 18 power Gazgul and Makari Big Mech Big Mech with a shock attack gun uh, War Boss in normal War Boss, War Boss in me Mega Armor Weird boy. We've got Big Mech, Boss Snickrot, and Boss Zagstruck. I think I'm going to have to get Snickrot. I really want to paint him up. He looks quite good. A Death Killer War Trike. Captain Badrook. Another model who's really cool. And I need to paint. Zodgrod War Snagger. Beast Boss. Beast Boss on Squiggersaw. So that's what I saw. The Beast Boss on the Squiggersaw is the, the massive model that was with Gazgul in that photograph. Your pain boss. A were boy. 
There's Mosrock, Mosrog, Scragbad, Gretchen, Boys, Beast Snagger Boys, a knob with a war banner, your pain boy, Mad Doc Grotsnake, the Runt Herd, Mech, Tank Busters, Commandos, Mega Knobs, Knobs, Shock Jump Dragsters, Boom Dacker Snazwagons, War Bikers, Custom Booster Blasters, Knob and a Smasher Squig, Rucker Truck Squig Buggies. So many units in this. Mega Track Scrap Jets, Storm Boys, Squig Hog Boys, Death Copters. So cool that Death Copters are back. And they've done new models for them. Because I want to paint some of those up. You met guns. The battle wagon. A bone breaker. Gun wagon. Killer cans. Looters. Death dreads. A kill rig. That's quite cool. The kill rig sticker cannon. Fires rocket harpoons. So is that the big squiggy? Uh, flash gits, a hunter rig, a truck, burner bomber, daca jet, blitzer bomber, was bomb, blaster jets, all the different aircraft, and then your morkanaut and gorkanaut, the stomper, and a mech boy workshop. And then there's the new Big Ed Boss Bunker, which is a Gargant sever head, se severed head serving as a boss's hut. And then you've got your weapon profiles, ranged and melee weapons, and then you've got points values at the back for everything, glossary and refer your references. And picture of the orcs from one of the old codices which is nice to see and then I can download the Warhammer 40,000 app to access rules and use a code haha <laughs> I'm keeping that code off this camera because I'll probably be doing that myself <laughs> but there we have that wonderful wonderful codex and oh Last but not least, we've got some transfers. So you've got Evil Suns, Death Skulls, Blood Axes, Bad Moons, Snake Bites. They're all there. How cool is that? I've not seen Orc decals for a long time bit of check in there for people so you don't have to paint it plenty of dags and all sorts of things that's really cool there you are wonderful decals so look forward to putting some of those on things and that's it so what I will do is I will wrap that video up and I'll get back to you shortly so that was our look at the new Beast Snaggers box for Warhammer 40,000 a really Gorgeous box set with some lovely looking models in there. They're certainly moving away from the sort of cartoony orc aesthetic to a more realistic feral look with these beast snaggers. I'm sure people have their opinions on that. Uh, the squig riding models look absolutely glorious I really want to have a go at painting those hopefully I'll get the chance to do that in the next couple of weeks time I'm certainly wanting to put the project I'm working on on a shelf and to do these instead my main criticism I don't know why Zodgrod is in the box set I think you would have been better off having the guy on the big squig character you're paying good money for this box set put that character in there 
The codex looks amazing, certainly plenty of new units in there and other bits and pieces. Can't wait to have a proper look at that codex and run an army from it, which will be cool. And that is it, really. Really glorious box set. I hope you all manage to get hold of one or stumble across one if you don't get one. The, the biggest problem with Games Workshop at the moment is the fact that everyone buys stuff up because they, they can't do the numbers. And it's awful because it, it brings up scalping, which I don't like. Uh, and means people have to pay more money for toys because of very selfish people. Well, that, that's my thought on scalping, quickly done and out the way. So yeah, B Snaggers box set, absolutely brilliant. Nothing much more to say except for please like, subscribe and share. I am a bloke in his little hobby room doing his hobby. I'm not a company, I'm not a shop, I'm not anything like that. So your support is massively appreciated and valued. Even a comment just to say where you're from in the world, where you've seen my video, that's amazing. I love to see uh, how far this little video has gone. Stay safe out there. Uh, say please like, subscribe and share. Please go to the Mini Model Makes Facebook page, which I'll put up briefly. And stay safe, take care. Hopefully see you shortly. Bye for now.